this is Mr. T with another uh, tutorial. This time we are writing a piecewise function given the graph. So we're working backwards. We have the graph and we want to write the function definition. First thing we need to do is look at the graph and decide how many pieces we have. We see we have one piece here going from negative infinity on x to 3. And then we have a second piece that goes from 3 all the way to positive infinity. When we're looking for how many pieces we have, boundaries might be things that look like this, it jumps, or if this was connected, we find places that have sharp changes in the slope. Now since we have two uh, pieces, we know that our graph is going to construct of two different function rules, and for each rule we have to have a domain statement that says which values of x are appropriate. So we have to fill in those four blanks. Let's work on the domain statements first. They're a little easier. If we look at this piece to the left, we start at 3, but not including 3 because we have an open circle, and it goes forever to the negative direction. So the inequality for that would be x less than 3. Going to the right, it includes the point 3 and goes to the right forever. That inequality statement would be x greater than or equal to 3. Now we have to write the rule. So in this case, we have to write the rule for that line, the, the equation of that line, and the equation of this line. We know when we write the equation of the lines, we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. To find the slope, we pick two points figure out our rise over run. So our rise is 2, our run is 3, and we're going uphill. So it's a positive slope. So we have m for this line is 2 thirds. And this time for this line we can read the y-intercept and it crosses the y-intercept at 2. So our b is 2. So the equation of this line is y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. So we put that part over here in the function rule, because remember f of x is another name for y. So here we have 2 thirds x plus 2. Now when we look at this one, again we can find the slope. We pick two points. Remember we're looking for points on the grid. We have our rise of 1 and our run of 2, and we're going downhill, so the slope's negative. So we have a slope of negative 1 half. Now I can't read the y-intercept directly. We could project the uh, slope back this way and see that it's going to cr cross at 3. We could also pick a point, just like when we're writing an equation. So if we pick the point 6, 0, which is on this line, we can use y equals mx plus b to find our b. So we plug in 0 for the y, negative 1 half for the m. 6 for x, and we're trying to find b. So I get 0 equals negative 3 plus b. Add the 3, so I get 3 equals b. So the equation of this line is y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. So that part is our rule for the function. So we write up here negative 1 half x plus 3, and we have completed the uh, task. We have a full piecewise function. We have the rules and the domains. I hope this helps you.